it has been fantastic to see so many people from different specialties outside of medicine rise to the occasion and, and offer things that have uh, made a very positive impact on the girls, ranging from the fashion students with uh, making dresses, um, occupational therapists that was instrumental to make a custom car seat. So instead of having to have the girls transported around in an ambulance, they now can travel around. Uh, certainly the, the uh, students that came in and did the sculptures uh, so that we could have an accurate model of the twins. It was a, it was a interesting mixture between the two worlds coming together yeah. in an operating room. Yeah. Because as you can see here, it's very messy. When we got the request, we were told a 2T would fit. Uh, both the young ladies, one was a little bigger than the other, but as far as how they were physically put together, we needed to be able to accommodate a total measurement of the space they now share, and then we also needed to add measurement to that for the procedures they're undergoing. A sculpture student, who's also a pre-med student here, had taken a body cast to work with the doctor. I wondered if I could meet up with her and measure it. They never had anything that they could wear themselves or what was made for them is um, everyone can understand that because everyone says, oh, I can't find anything that I can wear, but these girls really can't. Well, many people write fashion off, but it's really a necessity for everyday life. Everyone may not be interested in fashion, but they are interested in clothing. The truth is we all get up every morning and we put clothes on. Okay? And if we didn't have those clothes, we'd feel really vulnerable. So here are these completely vulnerable human beings being, you know, um, undergoing procedures which make them feel even more vulnerable and they're not able to cover that space where all of this stuff's going on. I mean, very, very satisfying to be able to directly combine the sculpture and medicine in this way that's really going to hopefully help out, help the surgeon with her planning. It's definitely a rewarding process, especially how far things have come and just being able to see like the smiles on their faces. I'm really glad we got the opportunity to do this. I think people forget sometimes how everyday design is. It's so pedestrian and so mundane to us the way that we treat clothes, but there are times when clothes can make a bigger difference to people. To bring them a level of comfort even, it may be, be a simple thing, but someone in the position these young ladies are in, that's yeah. probably a big deal for them to have um, a sense of feeling comforted and whole in these clothes that actually don't ride up and pull down and miss parts of them. It's got to be a good feeling.